Good morning, my lovely friends. Welcome to my daily vlog. Let me introduce my new best friend with all my video content. I finally bought a tripod. I still have a big list of things I need to buy for my video, but it's a good start. Today I have my Portuguese class at 11 and now it's 8.30, so I'm gonna go to a cafe to read a book a little bit and drink my morning coffee. to go to a cafe and of course listening to podcast while I'm going to a cafe. We need to squeeze every minute we have. So this uh, short morning walk is a big part of the reason why I love to go to a cafe to read because it kind of sets you up for the day and it's also a little workout if you, you start to moving your body you see the sunlight and all these beautiful surroundings. Salmon and eggs for the breakfast. So the main part, we put on some pepper. It really makes all the difference. So my lesson went really well and now I'm going to a very short midday coffee break just to reset myself after a lesson and to put my mind into a more working state. Although I don't usually drink more than one coffee a day, but today is like an um, exception. And I'm back home, I've changed my clothes already And for the next several hours I'm gonna be working And after I'm gonna go to the gym Actually for my exercise routine I love both morning and evening But it's completely different mood for me So in the evening it really helps me to reset after a long working day But in the morning my workouts give me a lot of energy for a day ahead of me But what I found works best for me is when I do my workouts in the morning and in the evening And I'll explain what I mean Of course I do my like serious workout once a day But by the other workout I mean like stretching or short yoga workout but when I devote like the minimum amount of time to these two workouts a day to so-called workouts I really feel the difference so I suggested trying this and uh, and maybe it will work for you as well oh, and I forgot to mention that of course I can switch my morning yoga and evening stretching to some type of walking so when I know that I'm gonna go meet my friend or when I'm going to some cafe that, that like 40 minutes away from my house of course I don't do yoga as well because just it's a lot of time as much as I love doing exercises I don't have that much time to so Welcome again to my office space slash bedroom sometimes. Okay, I just rewatched the time lapse I made and now it's obvious for me why my neck is hurting sometimes. So, and since I'm filming about me getting back to my routine, I really wanted to share some uh, of my favorite tips that really helps me to, to get back on track. What I usually do is I like to split my day into three different parts. My morning routine, my daytime routine and my evening routine. And each part has its own non-negotiable tasks to do. But also it's really important for me to give myself freedom inside those non-negotiable tasks. So my morning non-negotiables are any kind of movement, ideally followed by a meditation, reading, whatever I want to read. But it's very important for me to like wake up my brain. And the last one, write down my plan for the day. And of course, drink coffee before 12 p.m. It's the, it's the part that I'm looking for every morning. As I joked the other day on my Instagram that I basically leave for this morning coffee runs. By the way, follow me on Instagram. I post daily there and it's a great way to connect with you. So the main idea here is not to be very strict with yourself. So I really like waking up with this feeling of excitement uh, that I'm actually looking for my morning routine. That's because I give myself this kind of freedom. So my daytime routine is basically all about my work blocks. I usually try to fit in at least one or two whatever task i have like kind of unpleasant one that i don't really looking forward to do decluttering cleaning all this kind of things i try to fit in my daytime routine 
and in my ideal world my evening routine is all about self-care but of course in reality sometimes we all work till late it happens but again i'm trying to be better with my time management but my non-negotiables are to move my body like five minutes stretching can work and my favorite part of the evening routine is when i do myself a cup of herbal tea hot herbal tea and go watch a movie or read a very interesting book and of course it's just the perfect time for self-care so take a bath do your skincare routine so in a nutshell my morning routine is all about fulfilling my curiosity nurturing my mind and uh, waking up my brain so daytime is for all the tasks i really have to do sometimes i'm not looking forward to it but it's the things you can't avoid and evening routine is all about self-care skincare family and friends time and hot purple tea in the bed and this type of approach really helps me to visualize my day but again getting back on track is not about huge changes overnight it's about small steps and small habits that you incorporate in your daily routine because of course it's all about consistency so again this is what really works for me and i encourage you to give it a try and let me know how it goes for you this one yes. so i'm done with my workout here is the proof i love my post-workout hairstyle i have no idea how it happened but it looks funny i'm gonna do my quick skincare routine at first i'm gonna remove a little bit of makeup that i have Then I'm gonna use moisturizing toner. Then I use this kind of uh, very light lotion from Vichy. Then I have a bottle from the same collection but for my eyes. I love to apply a little bit of perfume on my hair after washing because in this case it, it stays for longer. So here's my dinner, baked vegetables, they're very very good, duck and a little bit of leftover baked beans. And the heat protection of course. And after I usually put oil. It can be absolutely any oil you have. I uh, also love argan. So before I was really scared to use hair dryer because I always thought that it would damage my already damaged hair. But recently I realized that when you air dry it, you basically let your hair stay in this wet open condition for a long time and in this condition they can be easily damaged and when you go like this for hours it can really hurt your hair So it's already late and it's time for me to go to sleep. I already feel very sleepy. And I wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video and for spending this day with me. I wanted to say that I really enjoyed sharing this day with you and I really hope that I was able to motivate you and to inspire you to incorporate more healthy and productive habits into your daily routine as well as give you some tools that may help you to get back on track and to get back to your productive routine. Thank you so much for watching this video and for spending this day with me i really hope you enjoyed it and i really hope you liked it so far and if you did please subscribe and follow me on instagram and on youtube and hope to see you soon bye bye